Hey everyone, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome back to the SSD Car Show. Hyundai continues to take it straight to the competition with vehicles that offer best-in-class warranties and incredible value. Case in point, the new Hyundai Santa Fe. Here's my review. The Hyundai Santa Fe is a mid-sized crossover that offers a comfortable, spacious cabin. It was given a makeover in 2021, and not a lot appears to have changed for 2022. But there are a few differences. For starters, there is now a plug-in hybrid version being offered. It's a 260 horsepower option that delivers up to 31 miles of electric-only range. There is also a new XRT trim level. The XRT offers up a more rugged exterior appearance. It has side steps, skid plates, and a unique wheel design. In total, there are now four different powertrains being offered with the Santa Fe. The standard engine is a 2.5 liter four cylinder motor, which produces 191 horsepower. Or you could upgrade to the turbocharged 2.5 liter engine producing 277 horsepower. Both of the gasoline engines are mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. Front wheel drive is standard, all wheel drive is an option. The hybrid version comes with a six speed automatic and uses a turbocharged 1.6 liter four cylinder gasoline engine along with two electric motors producing a total of 226 horsepower. It comes standard with all-wheel drive. And then, of course, there is the plug-in hybrid Santa Fe. Now, most people will end up with one of the gasoline-only versions of this vehicle. For those with the base engine, you can expect to get 25 miles per gallon in the city, 28 on the highway. The 2.5-liter turbocharged engine will deliver 22 in the city and 28 on the highway. For those who choose the hybrid model, they can expect about 36 miles per gallon fuel economy in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway. Overall, this Santa Fe really surprised me. The chassis is stiffer than I thought it would be and it actually feels nimble. It feels lighter than I thought it would. And that's a good thing because around town, it feels agile, it's easy to park and it's easy to maneuver in traffic. There's no third row seating available in the Santa Fe, but the interior, the cabin, is surprisingly spacious. I also love the turn signal cameras. They're mounted on both sides of the Santa Fe. That's the case with all the Hyundai vehicles, and I don't know why more automakers don't do it. The cameras uh, eliminate your blind spots on both sides of the vehicle, passenger and driver's side. There's a digital gauge cluster, a head-up display, heated rear seats, ventilated front seats, and with the interior upgrades that came about in 2021 and are now carried over into the 2022 model, you'll find that the cabin offers up a more upscale environment. And I can tell you that the turbocharged engine connected to the eight-speed automatic transmission is very peppy. but it's the efficient use of interior space that is one of this vehicle's best assets. There's plenty of leg room for rear seat passengers. So here in the back seat, plenty of headroom and a surprising amount of leg room down here. So there's enough room back here for a full size adult. I am six feet tall and I'm quite comfortable back here. So yeah, this works. And there's ample cargo space behind the rear seat. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard. There's optional wireless charging and an optional 630 watt 12 speaker audio system. I really like the layout with these buttons on the center console controlling your, your radio, your navigation, your map and your climate controls, it's all right here at your fingertips. And depending on the trim level and option package that you choose, there is either an eight inch or a 10.3 inch touchscreen on the dashboard. The tech on the Santa Fe is pretty good. In fact, there's a lot of built-in safety features that come standard, like adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. 
Forward collision warning and automated emergency braking is also standard. Forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, adaptive cruise control with stop and go technology, and lane departure warning along with lane keeping assist are also all standard features on the Santa Fe. The Santa Fe packs a lot of punch because it offers a lot of value, especially when you look at the new complimentary maintenance package, which covers three years or 36,000 miles. That's better than anything being offered by its rivals, including Toyota. So overall, how does the Santa Fe stack up against the competition? We'd say extremely well. It's definitely worth a look, and because of the value that it offers, we think it's one of the best vehicles in its class. And it is SST approved. For the Autos 360 Network and SST, I'm Rick Walker.